And of course, as we know, Our Lady's heart is so integrally bound to Jesus' heart that they create with each other a fusion of the heart which gives off the most beautiful love energy, an energetic impulse that is so deeply connected with the spirit of love and the spirit of life that this is able to flow into the world in a beautiful dynamic flow. This is God's love energy, the Holy Spirit of life, the life force flowing into the world in a beautiful dynamic momentum of love and light and energy and power. Now, when Jesus left us the Eucharist, he wanted people to understand that this was a way in which they could unite with him, with their heart, using their heart, using all of themselves to bind themselves to him in a very deep bond of love, a communion of love with him, which was able to sustain them and help them and give them an energy, a love energy, which really was the whole of Jesus' being incorporated into the Eucharist so that they could give themselves an impetus which they could use to move out in their daily life realizing that life is all about love all about the heart, all about a meaningful existence which is absolutely synchronized with God's meaning which Jesus and Mary explained to be love. Love is God's meaning. Love is his source of being and energy and power and it's through his love that he gives everyone and everything life. Now, we're all of us, aren't we, looking for a real meaning to our own life, a way that we can understand that we're living here in a way that makes sense, in a way that has some purpose, in a way that makes us feel to some extent fulfilled and what Our Lady is saying is that very sadly today people are losing an understanding of their meaning, they're losing an understanding of themselves, they're losing an understanding of what she describes as a meaningful existence and she explains very clearly that this is because they're losing sight of God. And she is trying to ask people very, very forcefully through this message and this vision to realize that God is there. God has offered us himself all of his love all of his life force for us to use and we're not consciously aware of this and so we're moving through life in a way that's very jaded very exhausted we're moving really into life in a way that's increasingly moving us towards death and this vision is explaining that God is looking at people, he's looking at the world, he's looking at the state of the world, and the world itself is moving itself increasingly into a very jaded expression of itself, a very apathetic, indifferent, listless way that is not in any way what 
the world is meant to be, because the world is meant to be a beautiful place of love and light and energy and power, the spirit of life moving through it very forcefully, people connecting with this spirit of life and letting it pass through them and multiply within them and then passing it on to each other in a beautiful fusion of life-giving that is working with God's spirit of life to maintain life and develop life and let life be so beautiful and real and good and true and loving and happy and peaceful and free. This is what life should be. This is the meaning of life. This is the meaning of people. This is the meaning of people's life. And in this final development of life, because Our Lady explains that we're moving now very critically into a climactic episode that is going to let people who wish to live life in this true way know very clearly that God is with them. God is with them. In fact, God is in them. God is with them. God is in them. God is of them. God is moving through them with his spirit of love and life. And he wants people to draw on this constantly. He wants people to use this spirit of life in an animated way. A way that is lively and full. And didn't Jesus tell us, in fact, at the Last Supper, before he was crucified, before he rose again, before he ascended into heaven, he said that he would come again. He would come again. And when he came, he would bring us life in fullness. Life in fullness. This is his Eucharistic bond. This is his deep communion of love with humanity. And in this final episode, he wants humanity to respond to him. He wants humanity to believe in him. He wants humanity to respond to him, not in any kind of mediocre, apathetic, listless way, but in a way that is reciprocating fully. God gives us life out of his love. He wishes us to use this life-giving, this love, to help him now to restore the world. This is a final redemptive act that God is moving into and he wishes those people who choose to to be with him very strongly and forcefully in this final redemptive act. He knows that people need much help They need much grace. They need much enlightenment. And he promises that this will be increasingly given to those people who are moving now, now in their individual experience. God's now is an eternal now. God is always in the now. We as individuals have to move ourselves into the now, into this moment that is a moment of stillness, a moment which uses the heart, uses our heart, which is the very core of our being to move very deeply into this core of being, 
to unite here with God in the core of his being which really is his distilled essence of life and power and energy and love. This is the Holy Spirit in fullness, here in the very depth of our own heart, when it can make contact very deeply with the depth of God's heart. Because in this meeting, in this connecting point, this is where those individuals who are able to achieve this will be able to draw on a massive force of energy, which is God's love energy in full force creating a new momentum of power which can be drawn upon and can be used and can be developed and can begin to flow so forcefully and strongly in the world that it is helping God to create the new world. The new world where everything is so beautiful so real, so true, so mighty, so powerful, so strong, so absolute, so full of light and love and peace, that people who are able to lift themselves with God's help into this new momentum of life-giving, this new sphere, this new orbit, this new perspective which begins to see very clearly because as we know and as St. Paul says so definitely at present we are seeing very dimly it's as if we're looking through a mirror darkly through a glass darkly we're not perceiving clearly we're not seeing clearly we're not seeing the truth this beautiful new input of love energy that God is now pushing into the world for those who can connect deeply with it. This beautiful force of love energy is able to give people a new understanding of life, a new perspective, a new dimensional appreciation of everything that is real, everything that is meaningful, within their own life so that they can begin to use their life in a much more meaningful expression. And Jesus and Mary say very clearly that this meaningful expression is love. Love is God's meaning. Love is the meaning of people. Love is the meaning of the world. This new world has to be constituted of love. The people who can enter this new world will be moving in a momentum of love that is absolutely pure. And so they will increasingly have to purify themselves to reach this level of living, this level of loving. And Our Lady is explaining that the way we move into this new sphere, if we choose to, is by using every moment of our life now with a real motivational drive to love, to loving. This is the only way we will enter into this final communion with God. We will understand that he is offering us a bond that is very, very deep and strong and mighty. A bond which, if we can enter it in a communion of love with him and with each other, we will 
find to be much stronger, much more powerful than any material strength. Mary's explaining this to be an absolute protection for those who are able to enter this sphere. This bond of love with God will protect them totally. She will be with God in this fusion of love energy and she will move with God in such a synchronized way that this dynamic flow of energy is pulsing through the world, pulsing through people who are entering this new orbit. And they will be able to draw on this life-giving so fully, so perfectly, in such an animated way that they will be able to move with each other in a harmony, in a symphony. Each individual contributing his own song of love to the beautiful melody, the beautiful symphony of love that will develop in the world. Because this is the way God will finalize his world. This is the new world. This is the fusion of God with man. God with us. God in us. God of us. God moving through us. We reciprocating, responding to him with all of the life-giving that he has given to us so that the fusion creates an animation that is perfectly beautiful and light and bright and colorful, splendid, and it will lift us increasingly into this beautiful new world, which really is a blend of matter and spirit, body, soul, spirit, united together with God in a fusion of love that allows the beautiful energetic impulse from God's heart to move into our heart. And Jesus and Mary explained that the, the blend of matter and spirit will show us that we can actually use our heart physically to circulate this new energy, this life-giving force of energy, this water of life, this fountain of life, will burst through us. It will interact with all the cells in the body. It will move through the body. It will burst beyond the body to be shown as a radioactive energy which is mightily powerful and which will create a protective aura around those individuals who are able to achieve it, and it will create a protective aura around the environments within which they are living, because these environments will be the safe haven that are increasingly moving into this new world. A world where heaven meets earth, the new Jerusalem, where everything is so beautiful and colorful and happy and peaceful and free and full of love and light. God will be with his people. God will be with his people God's people will be with him. And the beauty of it all will show that these people are moving into life in fullness, life in wholeness. There will be a sense of communion, a sense of oneness, a sense of wholeness, a sense of unity, sense of deep peace which rises way above separateness to show everyone and everything within this sphere that they are 
engulfed by love, saturated with love, moving constantly within God's flow of love. And the momentum is so beautiful, so harmonious, so rhythmic, so perfect, that they feel themselves to be in ecstasy. This ecstasy is a movement which lifts them into an understanding of life that is so absolute, so complete, so perfect, that they know that they are here with God, with Mary, with everyone and everything, finally, in this beautiful encompassment of love. And it will be creating here a sense of bliss, a sense of happiness that cannot be surpassed. And, of course, every tear will be wiped away and death will be no more because God will be there with his people, with his creation, with these new beings who are integrated so completely into his heart that their heart beats to the rhythm of his heart and their heart draws from him this beautiful love energy, this life-giving energy which sustains them and maintains them and gives them such a dynamic impulse of life that they know that they are experiencing life in fullness. So, this is the promise of Jesus and Mary. This is the promise that they are offering now to those people who can use their life in such a beautiful, simple, loving, dedicated way that they are moving now with the spirit of life, helping God to use all of his power to bring about a massive final restoration of the world and this world will increasingly lift those in it into a oneness and wholeness with God that is perfect as Jesus said to his disciples at the Last Supper and prayed to his Father, Father, give them the glory that you've given me so that they may be one with us, you in me, me in you, they in us, and the sense of oneness and wholeness will be the completion of life on earth, the mystical union of souls that is Jesus' mission, which he will now see fulfilled. So there we are. I hope to talk more again about this beautiful vision. Please Hold on to this vision. Let it become your vision. Because with this vision, you are given the most beautiful promise of eternity.